One thousand cars all trying to cram into the parking lot of the same Albuquerque school at the same time. The major traffic mess at a Trisco Heritage Academy has parents and students waiting up to 30 minutes each time they pick up and drop off. They're now demanding answers from the district and local leaders. Here's News 13's Cole Miller. The bells here have rang for the day and the cars have come and gone. But come early morning and afternoon, a lot of people say this is a disaster for drivers. You have the largest high school in New Mexico here. There's only one entrance in and one entrance out. And that, Senator Michael Padilla says, is not a good thing. He took a ride today in Sky News 13. You're looking at about a 25 to 30 minute wait just to get on the property, and in some cases another 25, 30 minutes to get off the property. Atrisco High Academy in southwest Albuquerque is home to more than 2,400 students. As being a senior and driving, it is insane on how crazy the traffic is. That coupled with a faculty of more than 250 and you get at least 1,000 cars coming and going in the morning and afternoon. It's a bit of a mess. Parents, students, uh, they, they're coming up to me asking me what can we do about this? How can we help? Principal Antonio Gonzalez says it's not only a safety issue. It's pretty bad. But an education issue. The bottom line is we need to have our students in the classroom learning not worrying about traffic. It spurred the school and Senator Padilla to meet with the community, its leaders and the district. This is an urgent matter and that we need to really look at some immediate fixes. They discussed funding, who could take on what challenges and heard from parents about the problem. While the details on a long term fix are ironed out, the school, the district and students all have some short term ideas, including putting school zone signs along Dennis Chavez and taking advantage of an unpaved road on the east side of the school to help with that traffic headache. Right now, there are no signs and cars park along that busy road. I'm concerned also for my daughter and all the other kids. One idea to ease congestion, turn this dirt road into a second exit. The city says it would cost at least a million dollars to pave the road, but APS Board President Annalie Maestas suggested doing the bare minimum to make the road drivable now. But regardless of what happens, Gonzalez says traffic will be a part of life here. We do recognize that there is an inconvenience. Now here's something else parents are worried about. Going up just south of Atrisco Heritage is a K-8 through school. You can see some of that framework behind me. It's slated to open next fall. Officials say that'll mean an additional 1,800 students in an already crowded spot. Cole Miller, KRQE News 13. Now the school says 70% of kids at Atrisco Heritage ride the bus and the rest of the students have that same option. We're told other meetings on the traffic issue are planned, but no dates have been set just yet.